Hello, I'll talk about how lucky I have been in the past. And people just don't appreciate their luck. So I will talk about when I bought my house. I bought it blind. With all the money I had left. I had no money left. After that, so I just bought the house. I got the keys to the house. I bought the cheapest blanket. Pillow. And the dog bed and stuff in delivered to my house it was supposed to be delivered to my house okay but they didn't li deliver it they didn't leave it at my house for some reason they should have because i ordered contactless delivery and they should have delivered it to my house uh, on, on the day when i moved in but they didn't so i had to get it from the post office which is uh, a mile over there, okay? And there's the bus stop. That's a bus stop. And there's another bus stop a mile further, close to the uh, post office, okay? And here, here's a school. And I will talk about that later. And uh, when I got the keys to the house, I took uh, the bus to the post office and picked up the packages. Uh, more than 30 kilos, okay? That's a lot of weight, 30 kilos, in this, in this snow that you have to pull through. And I had no idea where the house was. It was, I have never been here. I bought the house without ever being in this area before. Okay, but when I got to the post office, I knew that I, I had to buy a cart before. So I bought this cart from the nearest city. Okay, and... Uh, I didn't appreciate my luck because usually this cart is sold out in the store but when I came there after I picked up the keys to the house I went to the store I bought this cart okay no problem I was so lucky I could I could buy a cart that is normally sold out I, I didn't know that back then but uh, wow I was so lucky then I got to the post office. I got, I picked up the packages. It went very smoothly. I have never been here. I have never been in the post office. I picked up the package. I looked at the Google Maps, and I, I pulled more than 30 kilos in this kind of uh, snow. And it it gets worse further. So. I was, I had walked a mile, okay, only a mile, there, I was going that way, but there was no, no, nowhere to walk beside the road, so I would have had to pull the cart in the middle of the uh, highway, and uh, I had no idea where my house was, and you're supposed to take this kind of a shortcut, you see, this kind of a road in the forest that is safe to take but I, I had no idea how to get to my house so I would have had to uh, be in danger in the evening with 30 kilos pulling pulling uh, behind me in a cart and actually on my way today when I went to the food store I carried glass bottles weighing about 20-25 kilos and it was the toughest thing I have ever done in my life to pull a box of glass bottles in the snow. So just imagine how it would have been like if I would have, ha have had to do it with 30 kilos of weight and also having no idea where my house was when I, when I moved here and now when I know the path 25 kilos was a nightmare absolute nightmare I had considered leaving the box in the forest and continuing the next day I just I stopped every 20 meters to rest now you can see this thick big snow here just imagine how tough it is to pull it 
through the snow. And I will talk about the luck I had. I had the luck that the school has a school bus that goes once per day in the evening. It just magically appeared beside me that took me very close to my house. How lucky can I be? That's incredible that it just, it just happens to be there when I, when I don't know what path to take. A bus appears out of nowhere which takes me to my house with more than 30 kilos of packages. That is really lucky. And if I had not got that bus, I would have had to sleep in the forest in the middle of the winter because I would have been lost in the darkness as well. Really tough to find a place in the dark if you haven't been there before. And I got to my house just in time to get the last uh, train away from my house. Okay, so my battery is running low, it's really cold. I charged it to the max before I went outside and already battery is dead. So when I got to the house, I couldn't stay there because it was too cold inside the house. I had to take the train back home to my wife's apartment and sleep there because it was I wouldn't have been able to sleep in my house it was just too cold there even with the uh, pillow and blanket I ordered in the box and they were supposed to deliver it to my home they didn't do it I had to just suffer and pull the cart and even just a mile was really tough for me okay so I will go now just walk a couple hours more and then I'm home.